What's going on, Chill Army? Deandrox7 here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon anime episode reviews. Today, we're going to be reviewing Pokemon Journeys episode 134, Seize the Future. Project Mew, which gave Go a plot structure to pursue his goal in conjunction with Ashes, looked to me from the start to exist only for Go, serving as blatant advertising for Urshifu and the new legendary Titans. That seems exactly natural to me now that it's finally over. Almost nothing was revealed to us about the group, its founding members, their goals and histories, how Danica and Quillen obtained the legendary bears, how they're related to the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, what happened to the legendary titans that were captured, and so on. Go didn't succeed in achieving his main objective, and it's still unclear whether the experience gave him any clear direction at all. Now, regarding the actual conclusion, not much else can be said. Groudon appearing to be a generic Jurassic Park dinosaur, and Grookey using his new move Woodhammer to knock back Kyogre gave me a bad feeling, but thank Arceus, it was just Miyu playing a joke. Also, can I just say, I think it's really amazing that Miyu can transform into two different beings at once. There were only brief peeks into the history of the Pokemon universe and a terrible raid. I appreciated that the writers brought back Miyu's quote unquote sadistic nature, which is presumably reminiscent of the first movie in the series. The episode's apparent goal was to show that Miyu is currently too much for Go to handle, to the point where it can easily defeat several legendary Pokemon. Even by the norms of this season, the animation seemed remarkably static. It wasn't a poor episode in my opinion, it was simply there. Depending on the writer's preferences or decisions, Project Miu may or may not make a comeback. I won't say it was a complete waste of time, because I found some enjoyment in this arc, which featured more Gary and several well-written adventure episodes. Overall, I give this a 7 out of 10. And with just two more episodes to go, my journey's reviews will be completed. Hope you've had a good time, Chill Army. Oh, and since Fue Coco appeared in this episode as well, it automatically receives a 10 million out of 10 rating because Fue Coco is baby. And that will conclude today's episode of Pokemon Anime Episode Reviews. I really hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to accidentally smash that like button as it really helps YouTubers like me get pushed out to the YouTube algorithm, gets more people to watch our videos, gets more people to subscribe. Speaking of subscribing, if this is your first time on my channel or you know, you've been watching like 17 of my videos consecutively, please. I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe, click the bell icon, it's 100% free. And be sure to check out all of my other Pokemon related videos on here. But until then, I love you all, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Only good, show army.